take a look at uh, what does this program do for the first ACSL. And again, basically in this case, it gives us some initial values for these variables. And then we basically go through the series of if or if then else statements or if else, right? And then what, what we're printing at the end basically is what we're coming down to. So uh, I'm going to keep track of sort of as we go, but we can, we can say, all right, our initial values here, we have A is 48 and this is how I'm going to do it. Uh, B is 12, uh, C is zero, D is negative two, E is three. I think the main thing here is just being careful Okay, so we're just checking this line. And again, I'm just going to try to do them in line like this and just change the values that are changed uh, sort of as we go. All right, so right here, this line right here, if A divided by B equals B divided by E, so if 48 divided by 12 is 4 equals B 12 divided by 3 is 4. So that is true. All right, so this is 4 equals 4. Then A equals, or in other words, we're going to set the value to A to B divided by E. All right, so in other words, I'm going to change A to B divided by E, in other words, 12 divided by three, which is four. So that's after that first step. All right, after the next one, it says if A minus B is less than E to the fourth, right? So A minus B, so A minus B is, well, it's gonna be negative, right? So any negative value is gonna be bigger than anything to the fourth, especially a positive value. So I don't even have to figure out what that is to know that, yes, it's gonna be less than that. So then what we want to do is change B to uh, E plus C. So E plus C is just going to be three. Okay, you can rewrite all the values. I just will change them when, they, when I change them. So right here, we're going to be right here. So if D times E, so D times E is negative six. If that's less than zero, it is. Then we're going to do this first part. We're going to change D to D times D. Or we're going to square D basically. So we're going to change negative two and we're going to square it and get four. So we're going to change that value to get four right there. All right, next line. We're saying if A divided by D equals the integer value of A divided by D. In other words, if A divided by D is an integer, right? If it's going to be of integer value, then we're going to do the first part. So A divided by D, so four divided by four, again, is the integer version of, again, it's one and equals one. So that's true. And then we're going to change A to a divided by d so four divided by four is one so we change a to one now, it's a little longer here so we just got to be careful all right we're just going to check if b plus c so b three plus zero is less than d times e well three plus zero is less than 12. so do we need to check this we know we do a little short circuiting don't need to worry about that because this is true um right the first part's true so we didn't even bother with the second part um and then we can change d to right that's this line right here we're going to change d to b minus a so b minus a so three minus one we're going to change it to two here so our now our values are one three zero two three at the end right one three zero two three so now what we have to print is this. So we take it, I'll just, I'll just write it out because basically we're going to have A, which is one times B plus C, which is you know three plus zero divided by uh, E minus B to the E. So B to the E, so three to the third um, minus C slash, which I know C is zero. So there you go. 0 uh, divided by d plus 1. Well, d plus 1 is not going to matter. Uh, it's just going to be 3. Well, I'll just put 2 plus 1 if we're into that. So the idea is now, of course, we do want to work with a computer. We work left to right, parentheses for, or just PEMDAS, basically, right? Ex parentheses, exponents, etc. So we can do, you know, way of 1 times, uh, which is 3 plus 0, right? So 1 times 3 divided by 3 minus, uh, we can we can do this now if, because it's just going to be 27. We can do that now, again, because there's no parentheses in this zone, so we're, we're okay. And then we have 0 divided by 2 plus 1 is 3. Okay, so now we have to work left to right from multiplication and division. So 1 times 3 will do that, which is 3. And, and again, I feel like a lot of people make the mistakes on this part and not the, the actual running through the program part. So 3 divided by 3 is 1 minus 27 minus well zero divided by three is just zero 
right? So one minus 27 is negative 26. And that, yeah, I messed up right then. <laughs> um, but basically that is our value right there, right? So negative 26 is what it is. Okay, awesome.